Hello, hello, hello. You too. And all you lovely people out there. Doing something a little different. I am Taisha Nicole Bell, formerly Taisha Nicole Givens. And it is time for me to kind of do something a little different where I'm inviting a lot of you all to um, participate in my ministry that I started about a year and a half ago. It is called Kingdom Love Letter. And what I do on and for Kingdom Love Letter is I edify and encourage relationships God's way. I am a newlywed, praise be to God, as of August the 3rd. My awesome husband has um, been my best friend. We only dated for a short period of time. I really do not believe in dating long, and there are biblical reasons for that that I'll get into later. But I'm doing something a little different where I'm introducing myself and also giving you guys a little bit of feedback and background on who I am. Um, if you would like to find my Facebook ministry page, it is Kingdom Love Letter. And I also have a website. It's called www.kingdomloveletter.com. Um, I am very, very much so about edifying and encouraging God's way through the body of Christ um, from a kingdom perspective. As we heard the song, We In Here, that is one of my favorite songs. I love God City USA, Canton Jones. Um, song because from a visionary standpoint um, where are we as the kingdom are we in here are we allowing our voices to be heard that is what our father and what God would want of from us he wants us to edify one another one thing about it people is it's one thing to go to church and to get the word and to hear sermons but it's another thing to fellowship reach out and encourage and promote godly relationships and relationships God's way. God is concerned about every level of our life, whether it is um, single, whether we're married, we're engaged. I do realize that one of the issues that we are dealing with the most in our life is relationship issues, whether it's, you know, relationships from friendship levels, whether it's business partners, whether it's, um, you know, single struggling with finding and identifying right and like-minded um, covenant partners for their life. God has something to say about that. I want to encourage you guys. Um, I am an overcoming of many, many things in my life. I have overcome being engaged until 24 and that actual engagement not leading into marriage and having the child out of wedlock. I have also um, been in a relationship with a Muslim, birthed a beautiful child out of wedlock, but we did not end up being, um, staying together. And I also have been the wife who sought and prayed for three years trying to survive a marriage that God was telling me um, it was not going to survive. So I have a lot of things to share from a transparent um, perspective. The Lord says that in his word, he will never leave us nor forsake us. Some of our mistakes are not designed to beat us up, but they are learning experiences. So I know what it's like to be the virtuous woman for years and still have an emptiness and still not have your best in relationships. I know what it feels like to be in uh, a marriage and feeling like you're dying on the inside and you don't know what to do. You need hope. I know what it feels like to go through the single stage for long and, and, and crazy ridiculous seasons and feeling like you're still in that dry place. And through those situations, I birthed Kingdom Love Letter. I cannot take full credit for There were some awesome people that God put in my life to help me with this. And even to this day, I have an awesome uh, assistant who actually did Kingdom Love Letter's uh, website for me. She does my updates. Some of our discussions and topics that we have include um, special guests that were in the porn industry and now evangelizing. Um, I have um, stories about um, sexual dysfunction of all kind. We speak and touch on all kinds of topics that a lot of us Christians don't want to talk about. So I do want to again invite you to go to the fan page or excuse me, I do not like saying fan page the ministry page it is kingdom love letter and it is um available for you guys we are getting ready me and my husband to start sharing our testimony and start start taking actual marriage classes as of tomorrow um with our church 
I do attend um, Victory World Church, which is located in Norcross, Georgia, but I am in the Tennessee area, and I just, you know, I love my church, and I'm glad that my husband is willing to um, be supportive. Um, he moved me um, and my children um, recently to the Tennessee area, put us in a beautiful home, and um, now that I am able to really spend more time with God and concentrate on ministry, I told him once he gave me the headship that would be the help, the support, the friend that I wanted to give back more for him. So it is a beautiful thing when God changes the seasons in your life. And singles, I want to encourage you. I don't care where you are. I don't care what you've done, what you feel that you're not worthy of. When God is ready to strip you from those seasons of your life of emptiness, loneliness, rejection, it is just that. And it does not take him long to move. I'm a firm believer in that. So I want to encourage you guys that no matter where you are, there is a God who is concerned about every area of your life, even in relationships. Ecclesiastics 4 and 9 says that two are better than one because they have a better, labor, a better reward for their labor. So it is because of me partnering with my husband that I am able to do more as far as laboring in ministry now. That is a um, actual great scripture that I stand on and it is actually on my flyer. So I want to welcome you in the near time to come over the course of the next few weeks to join in on our discussions, on our links. I do not like doing videos, but God is kind of getting me out of that shy um, stage and Y'all keep me in prayer because this is really hard for me. I love being in the background. Um, even in entertainment, I have done videos and hair work and production work, but I'm always that person behind the scenes that you don't see. So now it's like he's putting me out there in the front and woo, I don't know what to do with it. So I just want to encourage you guys that over the time to come in the next few weeks, we are getting ready to start our discussions back up. Husband and I are going to be sharing our testimony. And again, no matter where you are in your relationships, just know that God has a plan and he wants us to come together and learn and take in from each other and grow the kingdom. Um, that note, I'm signing off and looking forward to the things that are yet to come in our um, life and where we are and where we're going as, as we continue to seek God. So again, signing off and I love you all with kingdom love.